but pretty much evenly matched in height and weight. This is a 165 pound catch weight match. And we're underway. Franson weighed in 163.2, Ruotolo was 164.4, and immediately Franson sits to the guard. Very dangerous strategy against somebody who's got that diving DOS choke that we've seen before, right? I mean, Cade pretty much, he's hit a, a couple of highlight reel submissions like that. Absolutely, both Cade and his brother Ty have some most nimble and athletic uh, guard passing skills around, but they like to call it controlled chaos, right? There's always a, a pathway that they're trying to follow, even though it may look like a, like a scramble, he's trying to initiate, but Cole looking to like, wrap up a leg, but Cade is out of there quick. Maybe we'll see Stop. some of the shin stepping passing style that both Oh yeah, the leg pin point. style. Leg oh yeah, that's what they're known for. I mean, it's one of the things that they're known for. Is a, you know, they're known for so many things, but real uh, innovative kind of style of jujitsu. And there is a diving pass attempt, and he may just okay. A warning shot, let's call that, right? <laughs> because it was a, uh, oh, and now this is good work from, man, Ruotolo doesn't stop. This is that uh, famous gas tank that we saw in the match against, uh, the match against Ethan Krellenston about how he just poured on the pressure. And it can be overwhelming, but look at that. There's a diving choke attempt there. Yeah, like this is what you gotta be on the hookout for. That's why kid. you mentioned the diving Darce, and he's not shy about it. And look at that really buttery crisp knee. To, oh, back on a leg. Oh, wow, in on the leg there was Ruotolo, but man, Franson, poker face. Absolutely no reaction whatsoever there. Interestingly enough, Cole Franson told us before this event that he watched the match with Cade and Ethan Krellison, and that's why he wanted this match. I thought that's an unusual reaction. You, you watch that match with Ethan Krellison, I think the average of, uh, player would say, that may not be for me. Oh, oh there is a back take here from Ruotolo. Close there, man. I mean, Franson was able to recover, but the pressure, the pressure is key here. Rutolo, when he gets going, it's hard to stop him, right? Yeah, he's just a freight train. And this momentum will slowly increase over the course of the next 12 and a half minutes here we have. And uh, it is just something to watch, really. Watch him break down, and then just sort of, as he analyzes his opponent's guard, it's just a uh, process of trial and error until he finds a pathway that works. Now we see there's the leg pin passing that you were talking about, Chase. And he mixes it into that beautiful X-guard pass, that long-range pass. Franson's guard retention, though, has been absolutely on point. But is there going to come a point where Rutolo was able to get past that and secure the upper body control? Stop scooping back. And these guys are just so fun to watch. Fight! Yeah, Ruotolo, man, he just doesn't stop. He's like the Energizer Buzzy, uh, Energizer, <laughs> Energizer yeah. Bunny. He just keeps going, and I, well, look at that. You can see this is an interesting tactic. He's got the hand across the face there from the top position. That's something we saw Ty doing in his last match against uh, William Tackett. It's something because, you know, if one develops a technique, you pretty much know <laughs> both of them are going to use it, right? Well, they spend so much time training together that, yeah, it's, it's shared discovery, right? And they find what works and just simply add it to their game. It's terrifying how much better they may be in just a year from now because all they do is train. So oh, there it is. There it is. We, di we discussed it. Could he eventually just find his way by wearing down Cole Francis guard? Could he find his way into top position? That's exactly what he's got. But look at that. Great guard recovery from France. A great defense from bottom. But look at it, Rutolo, right back man. at it. He's he's smelling blood. You know, he's he's found he's found the gap. He knows now. Okay, I got the timing here. Francis' totally guard recovery is absolutely yep. phenomenal, though. Absolutely, I mean, such flexible hips. But it's like it just keeps coming. Yeah, he just pour, keeps pouring it on. Look at this. Franson is the underdog in this match, a plus 350 underdog, which might sound strange considering he's the number seven ranked 155er in the world. But Cade is the number two, and he's a minus 500 favorite. That's how good these kids are, really. And you have to think as much as we're talking about Cade here. Cole is also reading and analyzing all of these movements yep. and hopefully looking for his opening for that he can I see. mean, it's, the danger is, does he start focusing on recovering the guard so much that this kid could jump on a darts from anywhere, right? True, true. And you know, it might come to that point, if you, if you get stuck in that kind of defensive mode, you lose the, uh, the sight of the submission attacks, right? And that's the key, is staying defensive, but also being able to counter attack at any time. And Franson right now, his guard recovery has looked great, his defense has looked good, but look at that. 
Look at the way that the Rutolo is just dragging Franzen's head I mean, into these kind of positions think and about how many over. how how many attacks Kate has had. Like we're, not even, strap we're not even at five minutes in yet. He's got a chin strap, but Cole has come up on top. Yep. Oh, now this is better for Cole because Cole's actually got the shoulder in the neck right now. This is the kind of von Flu territory. Uh oh. Oh, he's <laughs> fucking the fucking <laughs> oh my God. It's the Are you show. serious? Is he going to get it? This is not the first time he's hit it, but it could happen. It looks like he's going on it, it, right now. If he gets this, we can just call the sub of the night. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Are yeah. you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. 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 Let's just give him the sub of the night already. I watched him roll it out to see. It's that literally every single round. It's insane. Five minutes and 14 seconds is all it took for Cade Rotolo to find the win.